Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from North Flight Images and this video is just a short one about our manufacturers printer profiles any good um, well yes they usually are uh, printer profiles why this uh, somebody asked me yesterday after i'd produced uh, some more profiles for a printer uh, whether it was worth making your own profiles whether custom profiles were a good thing and was it still the case that uh, the profiles you got off the manufacturers were okay but uh, you could do far better well, why do people ask me this? It's partly for historical reasons. Uh, printers have improved an awful lot over the years and that affects the usefulness of profiles and how easily you can use profiles between different, uh, different printers. Um, not different models, but different ones of the same printer. So I've got a um, Epson P5000 sitting here. If I make a profile for that P5000, it's pretty much going to work with somebody else's P5000. Now come back into custom profiles and some of the things in a moment but really it goes back you need profiles on older printers there was much more variation between printers so you might get one printer would print a slightly different color tint one print one might print lighter one might print darker different ways they would come out now the pro profiles that the manufacturers made became known as canned profiles because they came with the printer you could get them from them and they were always viewed with a degree of suspicion because uh, and and is this is why people still ask are manufacturers profiles any good um, because uh, then, and we're talking perhaps 15, 20 years ago, it was far better if you wanted to get good results, you needed to make your own custom profiles or have them made for you. You actually needed the custom profiling. It also led to uh, a bit of a surge in DIY profiling kit. So things like uh, the Print Fix Pro, um, which became the Spider Print, uh, the Color Monkey, various other tools for that, for making your own profiles. Uh, there were various solutions as well that involved trying to make profiles with scanners now that always has problems it was always very hit and miss but it was popular a few years ago um, it, it it can work but then again just as well it can't work but scanners don't record the right sort of information this thing here this is what I use along with one of these targets here for making profiles I've got all this kit here because I'm visiting Epson demo center tomorrow and I'm going to be doing a load of stuff of testing of some big printers but this is a scanning spectrophotometer it's what I use to make the profiles this is not necessarily like well this is for making pro quality profiles this is the sort of kit you would use if you were running a profiling business um, I, do, I will have a bit of a mention about profiling businesses at the end of this but um, suffice to say we don't run this as a business this is something I do and the profiles that I make for printers like the Epson 8550 um, they're available for in return for a donation I don't sell them as such so I said things had improved. Hardware has improved a lot. Print heads have got a lot better. This is one of the changes you get in printers that the manufacturers don't advertise. So uh, if I was to look at a, an Epson P700 from when it first came out, an Epson 8550 from when it first came out, both about five years ago. Uh, visually, they're the same printer. But a lot has gone on inside them. Now, firmware updates, firmware changes, some of which you do see when you update firmware and printers. But there are manufacturing changes as well. So print heads, this is both goes for Epson and Canon and other makers as well, Vic French jet printers, are phenomenally precise devices. You know, they, if you think what they're doing, they are spraying tiny droplets of ink and they've got to spray them out while the head is moving cross backwards and forwards at high speed. They've got to control the firing, the placement of those dots. What's improved a lot, the heads themselves have got better, but so has got the internal software in printers and in printer drivers, the firmware, the hardware has got faster. It's why things like saying it used to be said, oh, you need to use send your printer data to a printer at a specific magic resolution, 300 or 360 dots uh, pixels per inch. Get it right. Dots is the ink dots pixels. I still get this. People get these mixed up all the time. But anyway, 360 pixels per inch, 300. Um, 
yeah, you'll still see this repeated and people say, oh, I've prepared my images at the standard of 300. It's not a standard. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, software has got far better. The calculations needed to do the interpolation and various things like that have got more sophisticated, faster, things like that. So essentially send as much real resolution to the printer driver as you've got. It can handle it. Um, I, I've written articles, done videos about this if you're curious about more about it. Look in any of my printer reviews. But I say the printer head stuff, um, there's continuous improvement goes on. Uh, it doesn't change the specs, but it changes all sorts of aspects of what goes on inside printers. Um, manufacturing gets more reliable as well. So whilst you may nominally have the same print head in a modern Epson 8550 compared to one that was first produced five years ago, it'll be the same print head manufacturing tolerances will have improved. That means less variation between printers. That means if I make a profile, it's likely to work for somebody else's. It also means that the manufacturers can profiles are now much better uh, and worth using. As an aside to this, it's meant that there are far fewer people offering custom profiling services these days. Uh, it's something that we decided not to do for a whole host of reasons, uh, mainly business related uh, reasons in that the, our other photography business and other stuff was far more profitable for the amount of work that goes into it. For similar reasons that I don't produce large amounts of prints to sell. I do sell occasional large prints, but it's not a major part of our photography business. So yeah, that's business things. But anyway, now the new improved um, printers, and as I say there, they don't, yeah, this is hidden stuff. The new improved printers mean that profiles are more reliable. Better quality paper suppliers, and I've mentioned several in the UK that do this, and I've, I've worked with Red River in the States that do it as well. They make profiles for printers they are much happier that their profiles will be more broadly useful now than they could have been 10, 15 years in the past. So paper makers are producing more profiles. There is less profiling kit. The canned profiles from the uh, manufacturers are better. So, and, and you're not getting new kit being introduced. This is quite a few years. I think I got this in 2008, 2009. Works perfectly. Um, you know, touch wood, and uh, it, it's still fine. But you don't see new stuff like this appearing. Um, yeah, I, I'm hearing of a few new things on the way, but this is, you know, it's not a market that is moving very quickly anymore. But one other thing, somebody asked me, are my profiles better than the manufacturer's profiles? Um, now, some people have said they got very good results from them. I prefer to think of them as different not necessarily better. Uh, if you find them better, then great. Um, but different. Key things to remember, if you ever get profiles that I've made, and this goes for some manufacturers and paper suppliers profiles as well, do check images whether they work, whether you get a better looking print. It varies by image and by printer and by profile. Do check whether you get better results using relative colorimetric rendering intent, with black point correction if need be, or perceptual rendering intent. Uh, they are things that concern how the profile is used when it is used in the printing process. Um, it does make a difference. I've covered this elsewhere. Uh, I've done a video about black point correction and things like that. But in general, uh, when you, you've got an image and you want it, this is one of the useful bits of soft proofing. Have a look soft proofing enabled, try to rendering intense, relative colorimetric and perceptual. Sometimes for brightly colored uh, you know, views and, and so, sort of, well, it's, it's more graphics, I think tends to work more for, try saturation rendering intent, intent if it's available. Um, worth trying for that. As I say, mine, I, I don't like saying they're better. Um, they're good profiles, they're different. But um, yeah, have a look at any of my reviews. Anyway, hope that's cleared that up. Uh, so somebody just asked me, you know, should I bother with the manufacturer's profiles? Uh, at the mo yes, much more so these days than it used to be so, the case. Anyway, hope that was of interest. Thanks for watching. Uh, got any questions? Let me know.
Bye.